Are you afraid of metal? Because it's metal dread. And yeah, this is another <laughs> Rise of the Triad episode. This is Metal Tread, and I didn't even introduce the map, and yet we already have it. That should give you a good indication to how short this level is. Well, that or the length of this video, because, well, this is the shortest video yet. Apart from the room, which was the only level shorter than this one. Although, we're probably gonna get another similarly cut level like this one. Although, we're not gonna see it until, well, the warp on the levels. Or one of the levels in episode 4, because, uh, well, you'll see. As for this level, it's short and sweet, and I like it. It's definitely a better level than the last one, because it's a whole lot more straightforward, and the enemies in this game will keep on impressing you by rolling in each other. As we could say with the Strike Team AI, good ID, bad execution, because the rolling AI is so bad, either they will roll into walls and just don't do anything in particular, or, well, they will just pull off insane stunts like this one. These guys belong in a circus! But come on, don't say that you don't like them, because I will not believe you. But hey, you gotta admit at least that those rolling abilities do beat the low guard takeoff, just laying dead onto the floor and waiting for people to shoot them into the face. Because that's certainly the poorest of the battle tactics. Yeah. How about you try rolling away from those fires? So let's go around this place and dispatch all of these green felons before I demo something that I wanted to showcase in quite some time. Hitting yourself with your own missile, but you need asbestos armor to do this. Just aim into the sky, and here we go. That's how you shoot yourself with your own missile, and believe it or not, you get a bonus for doing so. But for some reason, the only weapon that will manage to get you this bonus will be the flame wall, even though I've managed to hit myself with other missile weapons with a faster character, because you can just shoot by running forward and then you will hit your own missile, but you will not get the bonus. For some reason, only the flame wall will get you the bonus, and you need asbestos armor, because otherwise the flame wall will kill you in one hit. So this is it for the state of affair, and another thing that I wanted to mention, yeah, this worthless low guard here is actually the subject of our next little topic of discussion for this video, because, well, another thing that Rise of the Triad have attempted to do, but unfortunately didn't make it into the full game, was making it so that enemies will have different sprites in order, and actors in order to portray them. Most of the enemies into this game did have an alternate actor plan for them in order to make a little bit more of a graphical variety to the enemies into the game. And I think that the only enemies that didn't have an alternate actor were the Triad Enforcers and one of the monks. But yeah, essentially most of the enemies had a different skin and some of those alternate versions of the enemies also happen to be female, so yeah. Apogee is breaking the misogyny into games one step at a time. Or maybe they did encourage the misogyny, because all of the enemies in the game that had female versions were like the low guards, the strike teams, and the hover patrol. Which means pretty much the three most worthless enemies in the game, so yeah, that was a good thought, but it didn't really work out too well. But well, that's still a nice touch anyway. But ultimately, the reason why this idea was abandoned was basically because of memory reason, because the game would have required a humongous amount of memory in order to work properly, because it would have needed to store all of the data for both the different kind of enemies, and that probably would have led to random crashes due to the game running out of memory to use, so yeah. This is why there's no alternate enemies into this game. Although the manual did print out that there were female low guards into this game, but yeah, those got the hex eventually as well. Although all of the enemies that were cut out from the game because of send memory reason, well, don't worry, we're gonna see them again at the end of the game because they were all listed into the credits section and we're gonna see who did what actor and everything. So this is mainly why I didn't really talk about who did what and whatnot, but yeah. before you go to the ending part, make sure that both of the patrol robots are dead, because they can shoot missiles into this little tiny hallway here, and you may or may not be able to dodge them. 
and it will end badly. So here we go, we're already done with this level. Yeah. Round zero bonus is the bonus that you get for shooting yourself with your own missile. Hurry for you being suicidal. So that's it for this little journey through the shower episode. So stay tuned for the huge clusterfuck that is going to be episode 4. I'm so looking forward to this one. <laughs> Who am I kidding? But before we do so, coming up next, a bonus video to showcase the random level generator of Rise of the Triad. And once we're through with episode 4, we'll be back for the shower episode, whose next level will be... Ride'em Cowboy! Hee-haw!